Dice though, part two. Yes. <sighs> this to come later. All right, so I'm back with a new Daiso haul. Um, you guys seem to really like that video last time, so I'm gonna do um, another one because I went back again today. It was so much fun because I already knew the layout of the store. I knew where I wanted to go. I hit it at first and grabbed everything that I wanted, so. I got a bunch of stuff this time and probably went a little bit overboard, but it's totally worth it, you know. So anyways, I did get some few a few art supplies this time, more so than the last time. I'll show that to you. I have some really cute footage of some of the stuff that I mentioned last time about the cute little things on the stuff. <laughs> Whatever. Um, but I use these pencil cases a lot. They're a lot like this one with a little button clasp on it. This is a little bit bigger than the one that I found at the art store, but it's only a dollar. It wasn't even a dollar fifty, it was a dollar. And it's like this big pencil case, good plastic, lasts me. The other ones last me a really long time, so I'm pretty sure this one lasts a while too. Then I got some markers. I just made a really big mess and like threw everything down the floor. I told my boyfriend to put pants on too. So, I don't know if that's what's causing all the views from last time or what. Just walking around in shorts. But whatever. So these are for him. Got some ballpoint pens for work. So it's your point seven. So these are probably like a, a dollar for a pack of these blue ink pens. Then I showed you some of the these I got last time. This little Daiso brand, um, Daiso brand stationery pens. This is a light ice blue. So I got some more colors of those. I got a dark blue. Ooh. I got a hot pink. And I got a royal blue. No, that's a dark blue. That was a royal blue. So, subtle difference, but I love blue, so. <laughs> and then I got this brown one because I was really, really wanting some, like, walnut ink the other day. And I don't have any. I really need to get some of that stuff. But this will probably be close enough, you know, at least for the sketchbook. But I got one of those colors to satisfy that little craving. 
And then I got these markers. And these, these are blackboard markers. This is a hot pink and a blue in there. Pretty cool. And then I got, let's see, this one's a water-based um, metallic blue marker there. And then I got these two are permanent markers, one in silver and one in fluorescent pink. So these are pretty hefty markers and they're all, I believe, a dollar, dollar fifty. I don't know. I didn't really look at the price tag because I knew it was a dollar, dollar fifty. So fine with me. And these pins to play with. And then they had these little mannequins. I found some of these other mannequins, like bigger mannequins at Ikea. Um, but the boyfriend took that one from me, so I couldn't play with it. But I found the small one for $4. Four dollars. Little mannequin. So this one can sit at my desk and just be all happy. There we go. And then, we got some vitamins. I have a little box of vitamins. So I got some vitamin C because I feel like I'm always lacking there. I got some more washi tape. This is all. I got this one. This one. This is like hello and some little greetings on it. Hello. Congratulations. This one's a little colorful rainbowy stripes. And this one is like... I don't know if it's two and one or it's just one, but it looks like two thin ones, but it's already a thin little thing. So, I call it masking tape, but mm. I call them washi tapes. I know one of my friends calls them wasabi tapes. There we go. I got some sunglasses because the boyfriend got some sunglasses last time and I didn't get any, but his is his really sturdy. He said his, was, his were really sturdy and good quality, so I got me some sunglasses there these and they do feel like you know tight not too flimsy they don't feel like they bend like i bought a lot of like sunglasses at the mall that bend and then the lenses just pop out but you paid ten dollars for them whatever i paid like a dollar for these so if these last longer then you know you're getting more for your money there and then i got a few let's see i'll save those I got these decorative items, decorative skulls. There's a little black one for him. It's got little diamonds in it. And it's a piggy bank. So it's a little piggy bank, little diamond thing. And then I got a silvery one. And it's actually a like a tea light candle holder, but I mean, I'm not that big into lighting candles. I just wanted this. Ooh, this little tea light holder part. It was just so pretty I couldn't pass it up since I got this little skull thing going on, you know. It's probably his fault. But I do like it ever since I bought my don't drink the paint water watercolor cleaning jar. So ever since I got that one I've like I'd like to have like a little plain skull. Plus I don't have a real skull for drawing purposes. So I could probably use that one roughly, you know, as an anatomy reference, which would be cool. And then I found these little um, bottles because I really, really want to make like an apothecary art cabinet where I have art supplies inside apothecary bottles. It'd be really cool. This one, it's like amber. It looks really cool. And if you can see the color of it, it's like see-through. Ooh, look at that. Yeah. It's empty and it's just a bottle and it has this writing on it, which I might scratch off or I put a sticker over it or something so it doesn't help. But that's really cool. He bought some paper boards. These are like three boards. And they're rigid boards with paper attached to it. So you can like paint or draw or ink or something. I don't know how it's going to come out, but I think it's for ink maybe. But I think watercolor would be fine on it. But we're going to try it out and see how it works because these would be really cool for art projects and I just thought of these as watercolor palettes but they're I, 
<laughs> they're ice trays. But they're crushed ice size. So it's like small, small little cubes. So you can have like something similar to crushed ice. But I think you can also use that as a watercolor palette. Ooh, isn't that a neat idea? <laughs> we got some fresh cotton tea light candles here. Let's see. Let's see what else. I have a scrapbook with like scrappy paper in it. It's like sturdy paper. There, some hair cutting scissors, some hair shears. There, he got the horse hair brushes. <laughs> horse hair. We did find some more of those empty bottles. This one's just for like, I don't want to open it because it's sealed, but it has like a little pump, pump type thing. Dropped so much stuff, I don't know what I did with it all, but. You're gonna get these really cool like beauty masks, like those real popular face masks you put on your face. So I got like a bunch of them and he got a bunch of them. It's, like this cucumber mask thing. And there's like, what is that? Q10 facial mask. Collagen facial mask. So it can be beautiful. This was for me a vitamin E skin brightening because I have this like weird dark thing on my forehead. I don't know where that came from, but kind of just appeared there. In the last year or so, but probably because I don't eat right. But this one's a green tea one, which I'm really excited about because I love green tea. So I'm just gonna put it on my face. See how that goes. Maybe that can be another video. Candy, strawberry. Let's see some little wipes, little cleansing tissue wipes. <gasps> so cute. He got some collagen pills. This one's an oatmeal oxygen bubble mask. See that happy lady on there? She's happy. They have a bunch of these like little digital watches that look so retro and old school, but there's a bunch of colors. Like, of course, they got black, but they had neon colors that were pretty cool too. This pen, it just says him all over. It's a little pen. It's a coffin and a vampire. <laughs> it's so cute. <laughs> Here's some snacks. Rice crackers with seaweed. Nori maki arari. I'm probably butchering that. But they look pretty good. It's a little like snacks. See, that's the dark pot is the seaweed. I really like seaweed. You can get it at Trader Joe's. That's really good. I got some more of these noodles. I was going to try some of those, but I can't take them to work. We got some tea. Unsweetened bold green tea. This is his. I like sweet tea. I cannot do unsweetened tea, but there's one for him. Look at all those. I had a bunch of like little bitty sanitizer, hand sanitizers, and different smells. That's really cute. There's a bunch of these little doodads, so I got a couple of those. And this bag is probably all food, and it's oh, uh, I can't wait to try this stuff. So. These are honey butter potato chips. Honey butter potato chips. I have no idea what these might taste like, but it sounds good to me. I don't know. Honey always sounds good. I love honey, so that always sounds like a good idea to me to put honey with anything. And then I got some things like ramen noodles, but I hope these are better than like, you know, the cheap ramen noodles, but it's Japanese style instant noodles. New dudes. I don't know why I said it like that, but there you go. There it is. A little bowl. Just add hot water and I'm all set. And then I found these breadsticks, olive pretz. Pretzel sticks, I guess. And then I got some more Pocky because Pocky is life. I love it. I got this and here's the other one. I grabbed these as soon as I walked in the store. This is Pocky Squeeze. I've never heard of that, but I think it has like a filling in it, like a berry filling or something. But it's like a new, like one I haven't tried before because I usually get these in the regular, they're just dipped. So this one's like the almond crunch, which I love. It's my favorite. It's got little almond doodads in it. And this one I think is filled also, has a filling in it also. But I can't read. I don't know what it is. Chocolate cream, 
covered biscuit sticks is what it says on the back. But I didn't know where else can I read what it actually is. But I know it was chocolate something. So chocolate is a win all at all times. So can't go wrong there. There was another oriental flavor with mayonnaise, which I'm not a I mean, I like mayonnaise, but I feel like this might be interesting because I know they put that on sushi and I love sushi, so I could probably try this out. It's like noodles with a little mayonnaise packet. And I got a big bag of these Pocky because they were at the register and I couldn't help myself. So I grabbed this bag of Pocky and it's strawberry flavor with like all these little Halloween things over it. I don't know what that's about. I'm just trying to get rid of those. These are just the regular seaweed. I love seaweed snacks. It's really good. I haven't tried these. I think he ate them all, so I didn't get to try them yet. But they were at Trader Joe's where we usually get them. And these is like three for a dollar. So it's even more. So if they taste good, then that's a good deal. What was that? It's these ice cream flavored, chocolate flavored, strawberry flavored, vanilla flavor of this stuff. I don't know. I don't even know what this is. I've never had this before. But it's like. I don't know, like ice cream flavored kind of filling in these like little waffle cone things. It looks so interesting. I it was marked up to 350. I think it was 250. I should have got it before, but oh well. I'm gonna try those out anyway. They're probably gonna be really good. I got these little beet ones. Berry flavored gummies, because I really love the fruit gummies. It's like a cute little bag. And I got some incense, sandalwood. Ooh, that's for him. He loves incense. And this little magnet that's like a little shrimp. So cute. Boop! Little shrimp magnet. I put that on something because I love sushi. This was the other moon to light. Moon to light. That's another sanitizer. The rest of this bag with all the pastry rolls. You guys know these are my favorite. I brought every flavor except for maple because I'm not that big fan of maple. But I got all the other flavors plus this time they had the green tea. My favorite, the green tea flavor. And it's like, it probably looks moldy and gross, but like it's green tinted from the green tea. When I first showed you, I had these um, Hokkaido cream ones. So they just look like regular Hokkaido. colored biscuits. So those are actually like my second favorite. But I love the green tea because they're not as sweet. And I love tea and green tea. So they're sweet without being super, super like pastry sweet. But this is the uh, green tea ones. And they have like a green tint to the biscuit. Still very good. This one I like. Um, I usually buy rice cakes that have like the filling in it. Um, I don't know if you know what those are, but they're like, I can't even describe it. It's like rice jelly around like a filling that has like, red bean is one filling and this is like a red bean flavored pastry roll. So the red bean is really good also. It's more of a savory flavor than the sweet flavor. And I've got one of those. I got like three green tea ones and then like two or three Hokkaido cream ones. Oh, can't wait to eat these, oh my God. And then I got these chips, which are, I think green tea, caramel corn, yeah, green tea flavor, matcha or matcha, green tea flavored like caramel corn, basically. But look how happy he looks. He looks like he tastes good. Of my teas that I got, teas tea latte, teas tea latte, and it's black tea latte flavor. This is probably really delicious. Um, I was looking for Thai tea because Thai tea is my absolute favorite, so that's actually what I'm drinking now from the boba tea shop we went to after going to the cosplay shop which we found after Daiso. Went to the cosplay shop. That was everything I got from Daiso. I think that was everything we both bought. Um, it was a huge haul. We both got, I don't know, maybe $150 worth of stuff together. So a bunch of stuff. So happy. Everything is so cheap. I love it there. 
So then I was like, you know, I want to go to more places. I know it was like this area is like popular for like Asian stores and restaurants. So we found this like cosplay shop like really close by. So we went there. And I got some cute little things. It was mostly girly hair accessories and stuff. <laughs> First thing we picked up was some pens. We found this little cat pen. Can you tell us a cat? Let's see. What's a cat? It's a little cat. And his little tail is the clicker. Ah, so cute. <laughs> like, click, click, your little tail. Meow, 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 meow. And then I got, this is for my friend because she loves Hello Kitty. So it's a Hello Kitty. Pen. And I found for me a Totoro pen. Oh, look at that. So cute, Totoro. He's got like a little blue Totoro on his face. Blue Totoro. And then I found a Totoro sticker. Yes. And then I found little stickers that look like little Totoros, but they're just little animals. They're cute little stickers because I'm going to have like a collection of stickers. This is for the cat. Put a little Hello Kitty bell on him so we know where he is. I swear like you know I'm I'm never on a cat like this cat. He knows I'm talking about him. <laughs> what are you doing kitty? <laughs> I'm going to put this on you so we know where you are. It's like a little Hello Kitty bell there. And then I found this little plushie. Like, these are really popular on online. Like, these little squeezy, squeezy plushie, like, things. It looks like a donut. It looks like a pastry. I want to eat it. It looks like this damn pastry roll. But it's, like, just a toy. Just a little squeezy. And it has, like, a blue face and pink heart. was like, that spoke to me. I mean, I'm not really into bunnies, but I love the color. I was going to get a donut, but they didn't have all the colors on the donut that I wanted. And I got another Totoro pen with a little leaf on his head. And then I <laughs> this thing. Because I like anime. I wouldn't say like I'm the biggest anime nerd ever, but I do like anime. And I found the... <laughs> Ow, it's stuck. Oh, I should have put that in my hair. Okay, so anyways... I got this for fun. This is like the mad thing. And then I got a print of Spirited Away by Miyazaki. Look how pretty. I had a House Moving Castle, which House Moving Castle is actually my favorite one, but it wasn't as pretty as this one. Like, I think. Spirited Away is the most colorful, and I like that one for color and, you know, like, tantalizing to the eyes. But I love the story from House Moving Castle. But I didn't like the print that they had there very much, so I didn't get that one out. But here's their super cute card. Cosplay and charm. So, after we left the cosplay shop next door, we were about to leave, and then I was like, oh, why don't we just go, you know, full on, because we were talking about boba tea, you know, from when I lived in Denton, and there was like a boba tea place, like, a few stores down, as we noticed, so we went and got some boba tea. This one doesn't have boba, but it was called Boba Land, and I got Thai tea, because I didn't have Thai tea at the restaurant, I really wanted some Thai tea, so, got Thai tea there, and we got, what was the other flavors of Thai tea? You can hear me. We had two other flavors of Thai tea that they had. We had we got three because they had a special for like 30% off for three. And I was like, okay, you're going to have to drink these other two because I can't. So, 
Here are the other ones from Bubble Land. This was like Phoenix Rising or something. No, this was Phoenix Rising. It had like a few coconut milk base and fruit with the bobas. Might look really gross if you're not familiar with boba tea, but it's cool. This was a watermelon dream or something. It tastes exactly like watermelon. It's like they crushed the watermelon, put it on top, and then it melts into it. The bubble teas. So it was really cool. But anyways, that's it guys. Um hope you enjoyed this haul. It was kind of like big. <sighs> so much stuff to play with. So I might do another video where I play with more of these other things. I'm sorry I keep looking over here because like I'm looking at myself to make sure I don't look crazy. But the camera's actually right there. So just like look at you. But um that's it guys. So thanks for watching. I hope you like this video also. Make sure you check out a local dice store if you have one. I think it's I highly recommend it. It's so such a cool store, such a place cool place to go. You know it's just so cool. We we forgot to take this bag with us so that we could have like you know they gave us like these little plastic bags or whatever that are marked but anyways that's it thanks for watching have a good time let me know if there's anything else you want to see um let me know if you find a Daiso and what you like there I like I'm really curious to see if they have different products on different places so so I'll show you some of the footage from my store when I, I recorded some footage so I'll show you some of that maybe before or after this part um but anyways enjoy that part because I got some new things that I didn't show last time in the last video um, just super cute things I thought were cool to see. Things that turn frowns upside down. Um, but anyways, that's it. Thanks. Bye. <laughs>